So we understand the environmental risk factors play an important role in shaping that relationship between genotype and phenotype. The challenge we have is actually modeling them because in human systems, we don't have precise control over what the, all the individual exposures are. So in many instances, what we try to do is identify the major factors that influence disease outcome. For example, I work in a disease called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, where we know that smoking is the major environmental factor that, in, uh, that influences um, the risk for developing disease. And so what we're trying to do now is build models that incorporate these environmental factors as perturbations on the network. So we're in the early stages of doing that. We recognize the importance but we're nowhere near finding a solution to the problem yet. And that's what's exciting about working in this field, is we always have new challenges that are waiting for solutions.